Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I apologize for not uh, getting more videos out. I had planned to do several more videos uh, on the property and you know utilizing my CF Moto 600. Uh, things got in the way. <laughs> uh, job, my job picked up and I wind up having to go out of town quite a bit. But I wanted to kind of answer some questions in, that were left in the comments um, on some of the attachments that I use and I'm going to do a whole series I think on how I utilize my CF Moto versus what a lot of guys are using their machines on YouTube. Uh, I noticed that quite a few of the review videos are on people who are using these for recreation which is fine I'm that's absolutely that's what they're for really uh, I don't use mine really for recreation mine's more for utility um, and that's gonna fall into place and you'll understand more how I use that when I um, go through all the different type of attachments and you know my little trailer that I use it for uh, I'll, I'm gonna cover every single thing I'm gonna tell you what I like what I don't like um, this video is more gonna be just addressing some of the comments uh, uh, somebody asked about uh, my trailer hitch my receiver so it's it's a blackboard brand um, it just so happened why did I choose blackboard I really didn't uh, the reason why I went with it is because the ball is the size I need so when I take the ATV off the trailer I can hook this trailer the tongue on the trailer is the same size as the ball so <laughs> when I take it off I can hook up the trailer to the ATV and then use the trailer pull it around and haul stuff with that um, I liked it that it's three different things into one I have the clevis type uh, receiver part for like garden utility implements that can come in here and you drop the pin on I like that I can hook I can snap a tow hook to this with a rope or tie off onto it plus the ball now the receiver that I got with my machine I did receive one grab it right here for you yeah right here sorry guys so the receiver that I got with it, this is what came with my CF Moto. The problem with it, and I put the ball on there after getting it, and after putting it on, and hooking, oops, sorry for my fingers in the camera. When I put it on, you notice it's straight, right? And this one, the ball is up higher. The problem with this receiver that came with the CF Moto, when I put it on the hitch and hook up this trailer to it, my trailer is angled down too much on the tongue. So this actually brings the ball up higher. So my trailer level, this trailer levels out when I hook up this trailer to the ATV, which is cool. This is, it's too low. It's too low this way, but it's what came with it. But I did go with Black War only because they had the right ball size I needed for the tongue on the trailer and that's that's why and now it's off of Amazon um, I own another black bore piece of equipment it's the scraper blade with the actuator um, it's at the property and I'm gonna do a video on that too the downside the only downside to this it's really well made it's heavy-duty um, it's crooked though the square tubing isn't cut exactly right and it's hard it's very minute but it's not exactly straight it's it's crooked just a little bit um, but other than that it's solid I mean it's it's what I use it stays on there um, but yeah that's black bore it's, I think it's a three-in-one ATV hitch and I got that off of Amazon okay guys so one of the other things that Nobody's ever really talked about with these ATVs. Let me get the camera around here. Is whenever you're hauling something or you got weight or an extra passenger on the back or 
you know, in my case, let's say that 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 tank, that 15 gallon tank sprayers, you know, got 15 gallons in it. Um, or I have the uh, the black bore uh, grading blade on the back, which is extremely heavy. Is these rear suspension ATVs, unlike the ATVs from back in the day that were a straight axle, they squat when you put weight on them, right? So the problem with that and putting any kind of weight on the back end is that squatting. So what Blackboard did is they have they have this what's called a lockout bar and it has two pins in it. You could look it up on Blackboard and I think Copen makes one too. Again, I just stayed with Blackboard for whatever and you can adjust it here. But there's So on, it's hard to see with the light, but on my A-arms on the lower part is the actual mounts that mount that. And this mounts, get you in the light here. This will mount and clip into both sides of that. And what that, what that does is that bar prevents prevents it from squatting down it locks out the suspension so it's like a suspension lock for whenever you're doing anything with heavy weight something you know I use it I don't use it all the time but I use it quite a bit when I'm running my greater blade or using that tank sprayer or if I'm putting any kind of weight on there so it's something to look into especially if you're using your ATV for utility like I do with mine yeah suspension lockout bar check into that and I'll do a, I'll do a in the in the field review of it when I'm actually using it but uh, yeah let's go on to the next part all right guys so one of the other things that I have as an implement for my CF moto is I, I at Walmart in the clearance section I found this champion uh, home pro 15 gallon spray tank uh, the only problem with it was the o-ring was missing off the drain I put a new o-ring and it, it's brand new it connects I mean I rat I put tie straps on it but to fill that up with uh, weed killer spraying around fence lines around a farm or a small property uh, doing weed control bug control is pretty huge um, it connects sorry it connects electrically right it's got a cord that comes through here the cords up on the property I run it through those loops it goes right into the 12 volt outlet with a switch and it has a switch on the, the wire flip the switch pumps up the pressure pull the trigger right along a fence row or you know doing doing weed control or bug control it works out beautifully uh, 15 gallon capacity in that uh, a lot of the different places sell them but it's just one of the implements that I use when I when I'm out there on the property but uh, yeah tank sprayer on the back works really well all right guys since I got it turned around here and I got better lighting coming in from my garage here's an option for people who don't want to be married to the what they call it a trunk or whatever it is that that mounts to the rear rack if you're just doing recreational that's fine I get it I'm, they're nice um, they're about three hundred dollars nice or two hundred fifty dollars nice but in my case I don't want to be married to having that trunk I do like there they have made a a rail that extends up around the back and they make the brush guards for the CF Moto CF 600 um, eventually I'll do that but I didn't want to be married to having a trunk so this is basically what's this is a Plano sportsman's trunk and interestingly enough these these standoffs right here are made so when you stack them you can tie them together but what I like about it is I can tie off onto these lugs onto my ATV 
and still access the hatch and lift it open. And it's nice to throw hand tools in and, you know, odds and ends. You can, and then I'm not married to it. I can literally take it off and, you know, put it away and take it on and off. I like that functionality instead of having something permanently mounted. And these are only about 20 bucks at Home Depot or like an academy or whatever, but they're a sportsman trunk by Plano. And again, it has these lugs and that, if you put straps over it to tie it down, then you wouldn't be able to access the hatch. You'd have to untie it every time you wanted to open it. I can do it in a way that I utilize these lugs and go underneath here so I can unlatch it, lift it, and it's still tied on. Sportsman trunk, cheap, easy way to haul gear around. You'll see videos on the property and that every time I go up there, I put an empty one of those on there just so it just makes it easier for me to haul around hand tools, my small chainsaws, you know, odds and ends, stuff like that. But just an idea for you guys. All right, guys, I spun the ATV around on the trailer. Um, one of the things I wanted to talk to you about too and just cover real quick in this small segment, when I had the trunk on the back, you don't have to use a trunk that big and if you were going on let's say a long trail ride or in a remote area a couple of things that i would probably pack in a trunk like that and i always bring it up to the property one would be a tow rope right a small light tow rope you can order those off of amazon or harbor freight or whatever small tow rope a tire plug kit we have a 12 volt outlet in here right so tire plug and get a small compressor from like Amazon or Harbor Freight, a decent one. Here's the one I use. Uh, you don't have to exactly get the same one, but a small compressor that has that 12 volt outlet that you plug into a car, pack that in there too. Cause I mean, if you're out somewhere remote and you know, you pick something up in one of your tires, you, you have a way to hook up a compressor and you have a plug kit to plug your tire and you're back in business again. You're not trying to call for help and what happens if you don't have phone service, so on and so forth. But I always bring the compressor with me in my truck when I go up to the property. I use it to air up tires on like my trailer and you know, other things. But I've seen people who have gotten in trouble before and they've had a small compressor like this and didn't have that 12 volt outlet and have to remove the seat and get to the battery to try to alligator clip onto the battery versus being able just to have an outlet to plug into is huge. Huge, but if you're doing any kind of big trail riding or going out somewhere remote, covering ground some distance, overlanding, whatever, you know, recreational wise, I definitely think about carrying a plug kit and a compressor with you and a, a tow rope. Um, you never know when you're going to get in trouble and nothing's worse than sitting there dead in the water and no way to get help so just just some ideas but uh the next segment i'm going to cover my gun racks in the front one second all right guys uh some people were asking and i just want to just cover it real quick the gun mounts that i utilized on my racks they actually i mounted them in the holes that are in the plastic holes Today they do have the, the thing that goes in there, locks in and it gives you a tie off point. Um, what I did, and I kind of did some research on it. I went with these because they are for a, like a Polaris, which also has like these round holes in here. And the piece goes in and then as you tighten down the nut, it expands into the hole. These aren't really made for that and they don't really exactly fit, but I made them fit. And I took some, uh, here, I'll get it for you so you can see. But I took some, um, I took a steel stick, JB Weld steel stick and JB Weld um, plastic bonder. And I mounted them kind of semi-permanently. I could still remove them if I want to, but these are these standoffs for my gun mounts are mounted kind of semi-permanently. My gun mounts, the reason why I went with these 
is the actual gun mounts. You see how they're notched? And the actual mount itself, you can mount them this way, you can mount them this way, you can mount them back, and you can adjust them. And I can take these off by hand. They're not just bolted onto the, the hand grab here. They're actually mounted on. So Like that. I'm gonna give you just a example of what that looks like. The other one will go on the other side. I'll save you the time for me having to mount both of them. I went with a double. You can go with a single with this company. I went with a double. Um, I do hunt, but I utilize this more for when I put like hand tools, like shovels, rakes, pickaxes, things like that. If I'm moving around the property doing work, weed eater. Uh, you know, I got weed eaters and stuff like that. So I can lay that across the front, band it down, and then, you know, work around the property. So that's really the reason for having those. And But I'm not married to constantly having them completely mounted all the time. I can simply... ATV Tech, that's the company who made these, um, whatever. It's just, I liked it that it was notched. I liked it that I can move, it's completely modular and I can actually move it around and adjust it to my needs for whatever I'm using it for. And again, like I said, I use it for hand tools. But, and then taking them off and just having those standoffs is nice too. Uh, people asked about mounting gun mounts on the CF Moto. And because of that rack system, there's no, nobody's come out with something that actually plugs completely in here. I'll move the camera and give you a shot of, of the actual rack system. These, these standoff plugs here, nobody's making a gun mount system that actually goes in and locks into these, these different standoffs. You can get them, and this is all steel racked underneath here. So if you take the plastic cover off, it's all square steel tubing. But you can get the ones that clamp onto here and go across the front. You could do it here too, but I just, I'd be a little worried about being able to clear the steering. But you could probably get the ones that clamp on and they're permanently on there unless you unbolt them. But these, you can see they literally, they have notches here and they have notches here. And these are kind of permanently mounted on there. That's what I did and why I did it. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap up. Uh, just uh, what you can attach to it is here. When I get up to the property, you can see my camp out set up there. When I do get up to the property, I'm going to do, um, I'll attach a lot of this stuff and you'll see me using it as I'm doing work around the property. Uh, I have my uh, scraper blade. I do want to do a good review on that. It's expensive. Um, I like it and I don't like the, the blade that goes up and down from blackboard. They're expensive. I bought it used. I didn't pay. I only paid about half of what a new one would, was cost. The guy used it one time and sold it. Anyway, I own, I own one now. Um, I'll tell you what I like and I don't like about it and some workarounds with that scraper blade. Anyway, uh, I appreciate you guys. Uh, subscribing to the channel i appreciate the comments whether you know somebody agrees with me or disagrees with me that's okay i'm only going to give you what i think is my opinion and what i like and i don't like but i appreciate all of you i'll talk to you soon